Hello, in this video, I am going to talk about the concept of conjoint analysis. Uh, let us understand what is conjoint analysis. Conjoint analysis is a survey based statistical technique used in market research that helps determine how people value different attributes that make up an individual product or service. In simple words, conjoint analysis is nothing but uh, a certain combination of uh, features are presented towards the user or the customer and he or she will write I mean he or she will give the ratings as per uh, ranking like 1 to 10 scale or it may vary from 1 to 100 scale so the objective of conjoint analysis is to determine what combination of uh, features that is number of attributes is most influential on respondent so to understand that better we can see this uh, table shown below Brand, processor, RAM, monitor, and price are your uh, attributes. Okay, and if your brand is HP with processor of 4 gigahertz, RAM 1 GB, and monitor 21 inch, and price of $899, how would you uh, rate this? Say it may be asked in 1 to 10 scale, or it may be asked in 1 to 100 scale. So you have to rate it. So in this similar manner, it can also be, you can just replace the HP towards Dell here and you can check the different combinations and we'll try to um, do the survey and based on the survey, resp I mean, survey respondent, we could able to, uh, I mean, through conjoint analysis, we can conclude that which features are highly influential. Okay, so let us try to understand what is meant by attributes and what are mean by, what is meant by levels. So uh, here, if you take this example of smartphones, uh, like the question will be asked, like which of these smartphones would you buy? So if the brand is iPhone, screen size is five inch, silver, I um, mean the color is silver, and price is thousand two hundred. So which one you would choose, Samsung, iPhone, or Sony? So attributes are nothing but brand, screen size, color, and price, and its levels are, for example, for screen size is an attribute. Its levels are 5, 6, 5.5. Color is an attribute. Its levels are silver, turquoise, white. So like this, uh, we have different combinations. We have like, uh, if you want to ask customers, how would you rate mad angles with 100 grams for Rs. 7? Uh, how would you like bingo tere mere for 125 grams for Rs. 10? And the similar way, different combinations, you can ask at different rating. And uh, for example, we can see which mobile feature combination is most preferred. Okay, so this uh, question can be and uh, the combination can be asked in a different way. For example, it is not necessary that uh, your, uh, I mean, the brand will be same. You, you can exchange this this combination, uh, like he may prefer Apple with different price, with different resolution. You may also prefer Sony with different resolution, like right? right. So, like this, we have to understand. So, it is not like that. Uh, it is a combination. So, different price for Apple, different price for Sony, different price for a resolution, different resolution, different screen size. So, these combinations will be asked to the customers or say the user, and he or she will give a rating. And based on the rating, we will. Uh, we will give the importance to the particular combination. Uh, here, one more example: uh, like which of these TV would you choose? Uh, you may choose uh, plasma, LED, LCD. Nowadays, we all have this uh, 4K. Uh, so the, those combinations you can include. So type, size, and brand price are your attributes, and plasma, LCD, LED are your levels. So similarly, uh, who uses conjoint? Conjoint analysis. Uh, can help you to determine different pricing product features uh, product configurations and if you are selling some bundling project I mean some bundling combo packs you can use for that and all of the above it ties it helps the manager to decide which combination is working well and uh, which combination is customer is expecting more and what would be the weightage for it and uh, that is how I mean we come to I mean the conjoint analysis will tell us how these different combinations uh, are weighted by or rated by the customers. Conjoint is helpful because it simulates real-world buying situation. 
that asks respondents to trade on I mean trade one option for another okay and uh, conjoint analysis is frequently used across different industries for all types of products uh, such as consumer goods uh, electrical goods life insurance plans you know life insurance plans as different combinations different plans for different uh, premiums and uh, retirement housing uh, luxury goods and also uh, this combination of conjoint analysis can also be applied for different uh, air traveling uh, combinations with different ticket pricing and uh, uh, in order to do the uh, conjoint analysis there are two things one is full factorial design the other one is orthogonal design so mostly we use orthogonal design uh, to apply conjoint analysis for a given data we need to apply orthogonal design what is mean by orthogonal design orthogonal design refers to property of design that ensures that all specified parameters may be estimated independent of any other for example if you uh, take this uh, example okay now uh, let us uh, j just have let us analyze the attributes here operating system OS stands for operating system connectivity is for the uh, internet connectivity and these are the different prices and different camera features so OS connectivity price and camera we have four attributes here and under each attribute there are different levels for example OS has three okay uh, OS has three levels connectivity has four levels price has five levels and camera has five levels so if you opt for full factorial design you may have to go for uh, like 3 into 4 into 5 into 5 that will give you 300 different combinations so imagine that if you are giving 300 different combinations to a customer and asking him or her to rate back with 300 different combinations it is very difficult so that is where our orthogonal design comes into play where orthogonal uh, design will help us to give the most important combinations of all this with the minimum numbers and we will use that combinations for our analysis so we'll see that in the next video in our studio how these conjoined cards are generated okay how these conjoined combinations are generated through orthogonal design and we have some data set through the data set we'll try to analyze how this conjoint analysis gives us the results okay thank you